So I got one of the sleeves out and boy was it grody. Inside, um, between the cylinder sleeves are the water jackets that flow in around the cylinder sleeves to keep it cool. And inside there it was full of mud that I scraped out. And uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but basically it's, uh, I'm thinking that probably some, at one point or another, when I bought it, uh, this thing was all closed up. And I'm thinking one point, this tractor in its lifetime, seeing how this thing is probably around 65, 68 years old, I think it was built around in 1950, so sometime in its lifetime, the, the water port must have been left open. And I think mud daubers, like uh, bees, probably got in there and had some nests in there. And that's probably where the mud came from. And then at some point, somebody probably, and I'm just assuming all this, somebody probably put a hose back on it and continued running the machine with it halfway full of mud. And uh, it's amazing this thing's been able to, uh, you know, uh, made it through its life, you know, halfway filled of mud. Um, but I'm very thankful that I decided to change out the sleeves in this thing. Um, because by pulling these sleeves, it revealed all that mud was in there, which gives me an opportunity to clean it, thoroughly clean all those water jackets out that I couldn't get to too well. Or I would never have known that was the case with this thing. Um... Had I not have taken off the cylinder sleeve. This thing was so intense getting off. I built myself a homemade, uh, just a homemade uh, puller by getting a threaded bar, a couple nuts on both ends, and a couple plates. And then I bought this steel pipe and this steel pipe is just big enough to sleeve right over the top of those sleeves so it's just large enough to fit on there right over the sleeve and it has just enough room to give a um, to give the uh, I don't know what I'd call this but basically to give it to give it something for those steel plates to have to pull against. So those steel plates go on here, one on the bottom of the sleeve. You crank it down and it pulls that sleeve, it pulls that sleeve right out of there. So maybe I'll show you on the next one, but pulling that thing was really intense. It was, it was incredible trying to pull that thing out. Um, I had to get this pipe wrench on there because I didn't have a I didn't have a wrench large enough, and then I had to get this about a three to four foot steel bar on the end of that thing and just really crank that thing over to pop that sleeve off. It was, it was really, it was really, really stuck in there. Anyways, this is your new update on the Ferguson TO20 project.